Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows pregnancy of about 30 weeks with oligohydromnios. Oligohydromnios refers to amniotic fluid levels that is less than expected for gestational age. It is typically diagnosed by ultrasound examination and may be described qualitatively. For example, reduced amniotic fluid volume or quantitatively, for example, amniotic fluid index equal to less than 5 cm with single deepest pocket less than 2 cm. You can see the fetus, fetal head, fetal neck, eyes, nostrils. Now you can see the fetal cardiac activity and you will see the difference. The fetal cardiac activity shows bradycardia. You can see the fetal heart rate and then after a while it may become normal. Oligodromnias can be caused by utero-placental insufficiency, drugs, fetal abnormalities, premature rupture of membranes. It can cause problems in the fetus, for example, growth restrictions, limb contractures, death, delayed lung maturation, delayed lung maturation, inability to tolerate labor. Now you can see the fetal cardiac activity again and now it shows almost normal heart rate is seen. Babies who develop oligodromnios after 20 3 to 24 weeks usually have adequate lung development and an excellent prognosis depending on when in pregnancy they are delivered. Now there are many risks involved in with this condition low amniotic fluid. There may be intrauterine growth restriction, inter IUGR, preterm birth, labor complications such as cord compression, meconium stain, fluid and caesarean delivery. Now the AFI, what does AFI mean to the ultrasound? An ultrasound examination can diagnose either too little or too much amniotic fluids. Doctors community measure the depth of the fluid in four quadrants in the uterus and add them up. This method of measuring amniotic fluid is referred to as amniotic fluid index. You can see the fetal cardiac activity, otherwise there are no limb movements. Fetal, the fetus is very sluggish with no limb movements. Now the sign and symptoms of oligodromnias are leaking of amniotic fluid, low amniotic fluid on an ultrasound, measurements of size smaller than what is normal for gestation age, low maternal weight gain, pre-labor rupture of membranes, abdominal discomfort, sudden drop in fetal heart rate. As you have seen in this case, there was sudden drop in the fetal heart rate. But the measurement as far as measurement of the amniotic fluid is concerned, you can see there is no pocket which is showing any amniotic fluid. Scanty amount of fluid is seen. There is hardly any pocket seen having some amniotic fluid. This is gross oligodromniasis. Now low amniotic 
fluid oligoid amnias is a condition in which in which the amniotic fluid measures lower than expected for the baby baby's gestational age no treatment has been proved effective long term but short term improvements of amniotic fluid is possible and might be done in certain circumstances about 4 of 100 that is 4% pregnant women have oligoadrenomias it can happen at any time during pregnancy but it is most common in the last trimester it happens about 12 out of 100 women whose pregnancies last about 2 weeks past their due date now you can see some important information about oligodomnias in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks